Police say Captain Robert Chicolo grew concerned that his son could be a danger to others. Leah Martin is live in Boston tonight with a closer look at the very difficult decision that father had to make. Liam? Absolutely difficult, Paula. Sources tell us that Captain Chicolo alerted authorities about his son about a year ago, and that touched off this investigation. Captain Chicolo was reportedly concerned that his son had become obsessed with extremist Islam, specifically with ISIS, and that he'd been concerned about his son for some time. Alexander Chicolo, according to sources, had been in and out of mental health treatment for years. He was largely estranged from his father and had started to become obsessed with Jihad Online. Captain Chicolo, for his part, is a highly regarded police officer with Boston Police since 1992. He is currently commander of the Boston Police Operations Division, and he was working during the marathon bombings. He saw those blasts go off. Those bombings, ironically, are what inspired his own son. That, according to court records, we spoke just a little while ago with Ed Davis, the former Boston Police Commissioner who worked with Captain Chicolo for several years. It's a terrible tragedy for the family. Uh, Bob is a tremendous police officer. He's had a distinguished career over the last 25 years. Uh, just a very impressive guy. And uh, to have this hit his, his, own, his own family is, uh, is terrible. But the system has to run its course. And, and uh, you know, hopefully uh, this young man will be uh, held accountable for what uh, he's done and, and also uh, get the help that he needs. And the Chicolo family released this statement a short time ago, quote, while we were saddened and disappointed to learn of our son's intentions, we are grateful that authorities were able to prevent any loss of life or harm to others. At this time, we would ask that the public and the media recognize our grief and respect our desire for privacy. And one of the things that we were talking about with Ed Davis is that for a long time now, law enforcement has been telling everyone, if you see something, say something. That's exactly what Captain Chicolo did in this case. Live at Boston Police Headquarters, I'm Liam Martin, WBZ News. David, back to you. Liam, thank you. And Chicolo's arrest is the 55th in the U.S. this year that the feds have linked to ISIS. The I-team took a closer look at homegrown terrorists, the feds telling them that that is their number one concern. It is the second plot foiled in Massachusetts this year. Last month, Boston police shot and killed Usama Rahim when he confronted them with a knife, according to police. Investigators say Rahim plotted with another Massachusetts man and others to behead law enforcement officers. So as Leah mentioned, Chicola was reportedly inspired by the Boston Marathon attacks. Authorities say he bought a pressure cooker bomb at this Walmart in North Adams. According to the affidavit, he wanted to use pressure cooker bombs to create a big explosion. Stay with WBZ on the air and online for continuing coverage of this terror arrest.